Green today a chance to connect community members with disabilities to various services available at the annual River Region Disability Expo. WSFA 12 News reporter Bethany Davis is live at the Alcazar Shriners Temple in Montgomery this morning. Bethany, this is an annual event. It, this is a one-stop shop really for people with disabilities to get a chance to enhance their lives. Rachel Hughes is actually the chair and the founder of That's the right. River Region Disability Expo. Talk a little bit about how much of a need there is for this. How many people are living with disabilities in this area? There are so many disabilities. When you think about those that are born with disabilities and then those that acquire disabilities, um, you know, even as we get a little bit older, we tend to um, acquire disabilities. So this is an opportunity for people to come and see services that are in the River Region area um, from birth all the way up to senior adults. And we have technology, we have um, individual services for people who are looking for employment. This year we're focusing a little bit on our transition for high school students. And so one of the things we want to do is bring in resources to let them know, hey, you can go to college, there's other kind of services that are out there if you're not interested in college. If you want to go to work, there's opportunity to go to work. There's people out there that can help you look for and retain employment. And this is the ninth annual River yes, Region Disability is. Expo. That's a huge number. It's a huge accomplishment. I know you've seen it grown and you've done some evolving over yes. the years of techno technology and such. Talk a little bit about just how it's grown and, and things that have changed and, and evolved over the years. You know, when we started, we started at East Mont Baptist Church and I, I started out um, almost by myself mm -hmm. with 25 vendors and we had about 100 people show up. And then through that, I knew that I could not do this by myself. So I have um, re gotten help from other um, individuals that have just as much of a passion for people with disabilities. And some of the things that we've done is once we've got the word out, you know, the second year I thought, well, okay, if we had 25 vendors, we can have 50. We ended up with 87 vendors that second year. So that in itself told you that there was a need. And as people have heard about um, the Disability Expo, they look forward to coming. They look forward to seeing who all is going to show up. We continue to have new vendors every year. We have some of the old ones that keep, that come back, which is very important, but we also have new ones, new um, support groups. That's really important because, you know, day to day, it's one thing to receive services, but it's another thing to receive support sometimes. So we continue to grow in that area. And yes, we added a banner this year, <laughs> so we feel like we're somebody. Um, but it, we have finally gotten a name for ourselves in the vendors themselves really call and say, oh, we're so excited, we can't wait to come. So um, those are the things that, that we do every year. Yeah, we should mention that many of these vendors don't even charge for their services, and there is no charge to get into the there expo no today. We'll talk a little bit more, you'll stick around, we'll talk a little bit more this morning about exactly who should be here for this expo and what they'll find when they get here, what exactly they can expect. All right, Bethany, the River Region Disability Expo runs from 10 to 3 today. We'll get a link with more information on our website, WSFA.com.